up my lovers it's mj from all shall love tv happy to be here with you guys i offer these fun little tarot readings if you resonate feel free to book a private reading you can do that on the website and there's also a series of online courses i teach yoga privately online uh right now there's i'm fully booked um but again you guys can always feel free to reach out um and ask about scheduling and whether or not there's any availability with the yoga and um yeah and of course the readings mega appreciate your guys's comments your likes your subscribes that's all really useful for the channel and the brand straight up legit all to love is like what it sounds like that we all move closer to love and of of the most high you know <laughs> Uh, love isn't limited to like what we project onto people, right? Love is something super expansive and creative and ultimately whole. Uh, that in my awareness anyway, this loving energy is ultimately what contains the totality of the expression here on earth and ultimately the universe. So with all the spectrum and all the so-called, you know, pain and strife and struggle, which we all know, like it's part of life, right? There's no point in denying that. And yet, deep 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 down within us <laughs> there's like this love and it's it's just this potent unconditional forever eternal love wait is there a song that has it in it no i don't think it's eternal love come on you guys <laughs> what's the song turn around is that it? Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and I bo ba bo da do. It's not, it's not love. It totally clips. That's a totally clips of the heart, you guys. What's the one about love? <laughs> I don't, that's not even the deck I normally use. When I hear a beating, do you understand? Do you feel the same? Oh no, that's like eternal flame, isn't it? You guys, come on, help me out. What's what's going on over here? What songs am I trying to sing? Anyway, it's divine guidance, it's straight up legit. The intuitive tarot, my simple intention is to offer you divine guidance and loving clarity. So my intuish can <laughs> my intuish connects with your intuish to offer the divine guidance. So it's all about the resonance, right? We all just, I, in my opinion as well, like we all just have a different function. It's not better, it's not worse, it's not higher or lower, or even necessarily hierarchical, although I would say there is certain processes that in our human mind uh, are hierarchical, right? So, um, however, it's not like an egoic superiority complex hierarchy, as in like a hierarchy that traumatizes and enslaves people. So, uh, let's crack on to divine guidance and loving clarity for the lovers of the most high turtle power. That's what I feel like I'm saying. <laughs> you guys, so there's, there's some mega messages coming through. This feels super fast moving messages, right? And, uh, the queen of cups is sort of giving me this sense of like, you're, you're probably in some emotional healing vibratory. Some of you might be traveling as well. There could be a message that comes in about one of your kids or like a younger sibling. Definitely somebody younger than you. I they're they could be going through a bit of an awakening themselves. And so they're like, hey, they're maybe going through like they're not in a they're not feeling super spicy, right? Or they're not feeling mega, mega empowered. You're just having to really hold the line as far as your own integrity and emotional awareness goes. There's no, sometimes like, it's just one of those things is weird, isn't it? It's like, there's, there's sometimes nothing we can do or say. It's like, I, I, I often find talking is just this noise and it's, I, I, I annoy myself, okay? <laughs> um, But like, straight up sometimes like silence is just the only golden answer as far as far as just the amount of shazam going on in the world right like 
I would dare say it at the end of it all, or maybe I maybe it's incorrect, but like at the end of it all, like talking about it isn't probably gonna sort it out. Like it's just gonna sort itself out, right? And I suppose on any level at this stage, being alarmist or you know like the world's gonna end and we need to point fingers and blame each other and it's this problem it's that problem like straight up we we as a species we can just focus on the problem and literally obsess and then fester and probably just like pick at the scab so it's never gonna freaking heal whereas like oh my god and we we could just step back and i am somebody i'm like i literally have been listening to a gabor mate lecture all morning and I uh, found a new person named Stephen Borges, Borges, and I've got a couple books. I'm just diving in now. Like, I'm diving in to just study more about the hungry ghosts that live within us, right? Like, these these things that drive us, and increasingly, and it's, like, my book as well, like, which offers people, it's not for the faint of hearted, but, like, it offers people emotional and chemical process. Like, your your emotional field has the potential to heal, however... I have a huge disclaimer at this point to share with you guys based on my own lived experience. If you don't have a stable home, if things aren't like, if you're not truly safe where you're living, which I went through many years where that was the case. I wasn't, I thought sometimes I was in a safe environment, but I wasn't actually in a safe environment and intuition knew that. And like, if we're not in a safe environment there's no way that, that we're ultimately going to be able to regulate your nervous system I wouldn't say no way because I think there's always a way for people um but like if we're triggered into survival mode we're going to be in survival mode until we find a safe haven and personally I can only now look back having only in these last few months like had things come back to safety but it's taken like six to seven months just to like regroup, i.e. heal the nervous system, just to begin to regulate the nervous system because I spent so many years <laughs> surviving, right? And and often being um, like in situations that were like, who like I, in my own naivety or what have you, and sometimes lying, just trying to save face and then ending up like, holy shazam. So um, anyway, I digressed massively. Um, so yeah, th I mean, this is part of it here, right? Is that whomever could be going through a bit of a, this page of cups. So younger water sign, Scorpio, uh, Cancer and Pisces. This really feels quite Piscean to me. Yeah, they're having like an awakening process and I feel like you're you're wanting to of course hold space except you're also aware that straight up legit their world could be flipped sub flipped upside down okay there it's like they're coming into their own you're again queen of cups in the upright um I feel like some of you could be taking a trip you might be going traveling uh it's like being guided you're being guided to maybe take a bit of a holiday you deserve it queen of cuppy queen of cups you deserve some of you might have like a little bit of an affair straight up like when you go on holiday there's the son of wands there could be or or, or you're just gonna have like a bit of revelatory spark um as in Stella got her groove back so and, and and I say this jokingly and yet no judgment maybe you do meet somebody and or you just get your own groove back let's be honest we can all get our own groove back without mixing our juices with somebody else Holy shit. <laughs> Some of you guys, so this is a bit of the long game. Some of you guys are creating a community. Um, and or it's like a vision. It's something like there's there's almost like a sacred geometric patterning. I'm thinking of the Sasha Stone expression. Um, 
he said in one of the interviews I did with him about like it's you 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 like hold the vision and you commit to the highest patterns of perfection and that's something you, like many of us in this new new paradigm paradigm shift new earth blah blah it's like um this this the pattern of perfection is ultimately something within us right like we are that which we seek again my very basic spiritual insight was was I was like this twofold of like we are either perceiving through the lens of separation, i.e. you're separate from everything you see, or you are that <laughs> unity perception. So the unity consciousness is ultimately what's ushering in the new paradigm, right? Because we're helping to see that us perceiving in separation and blaming and attacking one another isn't actually functional, nor is it sustainable on this planet. So there's an essence of, and maybe this is just this continual regeneration kind of uh, infinity loop generation station here on earth right who knows regardless i'm pretty sure we can all testify like it's a it's a divine mystery you might as well kind of open up and ac activate your liveness lovers um uh, because otherwise you know we're just living the living dead just ambalicious you know just watching tv and being told what to do through the program um, anywho, I'm just super dupes rambling, but I think it's been a hellish Sam. <laughs> just don't just go love yourself, okay? To thy known self be true. Um, and feel free to check out services at all to love. Again, the courses, the merchandise. Oh, I've got like this. Oh my god, as well. Hola. I totally didn't do it out loud, but there have been winners and these sweatshirts have been given away. So we had like a lovely family basically enter and the dad got the the sweatshirt and uh, two children got two tops. Actually, I gave away another one, but and, and, anyway, so there's this Shazam and like you can't really see, but I am wearing one of my love tops underneath here. doesn't really matter, you guys. Mostly go love yourself and go have an awesome day or not. And no matter what, there's always going to be unconditional love within you to to know that this too shall pass. Anywho so much love you guys have an awesome day and thank you thank you for thank you for being a friend hello 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 hello